Hello students, our lesson for today is about projectile motion. And our objectives for today are, I can describe the horizontal and vertical motion of a projectile. I can investigate the relationship between the angle of release and the height and range of a projectile. Imagine a car moving on a straight line motion and a ball falling from a tall building and a basketball player throwing the ball into the net. These are called projectile motion. Studying projectile motion is like looking at an optical illusion. Now let us first define what projectile motion is. Projectile motion is a type of motion wherein an object called the projectile is thrown into the air and moves a curved path under the gravity alone. For further understanding, you must watch this video. The cannonball follows a parabolic path during its flight before it reaches the ground. We will try to understand the movement of a cannonball. First, its velocity. Initially, the cannonball has initial velocity. This initial velocity can be resolved as x direction, s, and y direction, s. This means that the cannonball is moving upward while moving to the right. When the cannonball moves upward, the x direction is constant or remains the same as the value of while the velocity along the y direction is approaching to zero. When the velocity along the y direction is equal to zero, the cannonball has its maximum height from the ground. The cannonball continues its parabolic path. During its flight, the cannonball expresses a motion going downward while going to the right. This time, the velocity along the x direction is still constant, but while the velocity along the y direction is approaching the same as the initial velocity in y direction to indicate but in negative value, that it is going downward until the ball reaches the ground and the velocity is zero. Now, let us summarize. Velocity in x direction is constant, Velocity in y direction is changing with respect to its position. Now, let us look at the acceleration. The acceleration due to gravity which is equals to 9.8 meter per second square. This acceleration is pointing downward and it's constant during the cannonball flight. Lastly, two things to remember. There are only two distances which have to give attention. First, the maximum height, and second, the distance traveled. Hope you got something from the video. Now let us proceed to the two types of projectile. First, the horizontal launch projectile and second, the non-horizontal launch projectile. Components of projectile motion. The X component, no resistance in any form. Constant horizontal velocity. Zero horizontal acceleration. And the vertical motion, or what we call as the free fall, Y component, acted upon by gravity, accelerating vertical velocity, constant vertical acceleration, vertical distance, maximum height. Horizontal motion has an initial horizontal velocity that is constant, neglecting air resistance. Acceleration x is equal to zero. Vertical motion accelerating due to gravity. Acceleration y is equal to negative 9.8 meter per second square. 
Projectile motion has a curvilinear path called trajectory. Vertical and horizontal components are independent of each other. In velocity, horizontal velocity is always constant. Vertical velocity decreases as the projectile moves up and increases while it moves down along a trajectory. In acceleration, horizontal acceleration is always zero. Vertical acceleration is always equal to the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter second square on Earth. Distance, horizontal distance, range. Vertical distance, maximum height. Now, let us have a quick check. Neglecting air resistance, the horizontal acceleration of a projectile is zero. True or false? Neglecting air resistance, the horizontal velocity of a projectile is constant. True or false? Projectile motion involves a curve path that is called the trajectory. True or false? And now for your assessment, answer the following questions. Well, that's all our lesson for today. If you have any questions or ideas, just feel free to write your comments down below. And for our ending Bible verse, be blessed by this lesson.